Hey guys, and welcome to my May Pan App Palette update. I'm really excited. I made some great progress this month. So let's go ahead and jump in and look at my palettes. So the main palette I'm painting this year is the Tarte Be Magnificent palette. It's an all matte palette. Um, came out, I believe, in 2014. And so let me go ahead and insert a picture of what this looked like last month. And here's what it looks like now. So, I have some nice progress. I have made a huge dent in this little, last little remaining bit of this cream shadow. I didn't quite make it to hit side pan down here, but I'm really close. And I expect that this shadow will be done in just a couple more months. I also made great progress on this edge of this pink shadow. I was trying to hit side pan there, didn't quite make it, but I think another couple of weeks and I'll be able to make that. I did uh, finally hit side pan on this mauve shade. It is moving very, very slowly, but I really love this shade, so I am okay with that. And also I have cleared out this little corner of this taupey shade so super excited about that so then for next month I would love to finish this little side portion in this corner just a little bit left in the corner of that cream shade to hit side pan down here in this pink shade I would like to expand the side pan on this mauve shade and then I am just going to work on expanding the pan here on this taupe shade. Since the Tarte palette is a all matte palette, I have been panning a companion palette with that palette this year. Currently, I am doing a one month, one palette. And my palette for May was this little Urban Decay 4 pan palette that I made from some singles. So as you guys can see, there is a little bit of wear here. The biggest thing is that there is definitely a dip going in this green shade. I have found out that I adore wearing green eyeshadow. So this is what I'm wearing today. You guys can see the green. I actually did a tutorial for this on my tips for girls with glasses video. So if you'd like to see this look, you can go ahead and check that out. But I really, really, really love this kind of mossy green color on my eyes. I think it really makes the brown pop. Um, and then I also just made just a little bit of progress on the other three. This uh, shade here, Stella, already had a bit of a dip going the when I started. And then the other two just have a little bit of progress. One thing I have noticed using this palette for a month is that these Urban Decay singles are significantly more well packed than the shades in my Urban Decay After Dark palette, which I was panning uh, as the companion pa for palette for January, February, and March. So I know that if these had been that same consistency, I would have much, much, much deeper dips. Um, but that's okay because I did make some progress and I really, really, really love this green color. So the idea behind my color selection for here was actually to dupe a palette by 100% Pure, the, their mermaid palette, to see if I really like the color combinations. So without further ado, let me show you guys the palette that I will be panning with the Tarte palette for the month of June. I know, I caved, I bought it. Um, <laughs> let me explain, because I know in the last Pen Up Palette update, I mentioned that I really was talking myself out of this palette, telling myself I didn't need more eyeshadow, and I, as you can see, I was able to create something that worked for me, that I really liked, that had similar shades, and I wasn't going to buy this palette, except that 
100% Pure was doing a really, really great Mother's Day special. It was a kit you could purchase for $35 that included an eyeshadow palette, a mascara, a lip gloss, and a lipstick for $35. And this palette retails for over $35. And I decided that that was such a great opportunity for me to try out some products from 100% Pure that I really couldn't pass it up, especially since I already knew from my May Companion palette that I really enjoyed the colors in here. So I I got it. Um, but let me show you guys what it looks like after I've been yakking about it for so long. So you can see a lot, a lot of similar shades. We have a gold shade, a green shade. Um, the highlighter actually in person is a lot more peach colored than I thought. So I had put in a pink eyeshadow to kind of um, dupe the highlighter, um, but it's definitely more of a peachy highlight. And then there's a blush, and then there's this really cool kind of purpley shade in here as well. So the colors are Siren, Coral, Shell, Sea Glass, and Starfish. So this is the palette that I'm going to be using for this month. I thought it would be great to do this back to back with my Urban Decay shadows so I could just get a really good sense of whether or not I enjoy the 100% Pure formula, how these compare. I am trying to switch to more clean green beauty products and so for the price, had I got this palette and the other things, I thought it was just a great opportunity to try some products to see if I like them without having to invest a lot of money because these green beauty products do tend to be more expensive than your traditional like high-end at Sephora or Ulta brand products. So this is the palette that I will be panning. Ta-da! And I am super excited about this, especially because I really, really loved the colors that I had for May. And I was kind of sad that the month was over and I was going to have to switch to something else. But that is it for my update. Um, stay tuned for still shots of my progress from this year. And until next time.